Hello everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Monday, June 6th. The vice president of Yemen had a message today for anti-government protesters. The message was that President Ali Abdullah Saleh will return. Saleh traveled to Saudi Arabia for treatment of shrapnel wounds he suffered when the presidential palace was shelled by protesters last week. His departure set off waves of celebrations, hoping Saleh, who has ruled Yemen for more than 32 years, would be gone for good. In South America, it looks like the business community in Peru does not like the results of that country's presidential election. Left-winger and former Army Commander Olanta Umala was the runoff election winner over the weekend. He's vowing the poor will share in the country's wealth. The financial community sees that as a signal that taxes are going up for businesses and wealthy individuals. The stock market in Peru plunged about 11 percent on the news, and the country's currency fell about 1.5 percent. Umala has already proposed a windfall tax on the mining industry. Share prices for some Peruvian mining companies fell by up to 15 percent. Umala takes office July 28th. Back in the U.S., not guilty was the plea today from former International Monetary Fund Chief Dominic Strauss-Kahn. He was back in Manhattan Criminal Court, entering the plea to charges that he raped a motel maid in New York City last month. Strauss-Kahn remains free on $6 million bail, but wears a tracking bracelet on his ankle and is under severe travel restrictions. He's due back in court July 18th. And the ranks of the Republican presidential hopefuls keep expanding. Former Pennsylvania Senator Rick Santorum formally entered the race for the GOP nomination. He said he's doing so to protect American freedoms that are being threatened by President Obama. Santorum's considered a strong conservative who opposes the Obama health care plan, abortion, gay marriage, and embryonic stem cell research. He becomes the fourth official Republican candidate for president, joining Newt Gingrich, Mitt Romney, and businessman Herman Cain. That's your political roundup for Monday, June 6th. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day.